Belgian mountain laws, man. The things I would not recommend the Belgian mountain law. First of all, number one, it's a working dog. Number two, it's a breed that you have to deal with 24-7 as an adult, oh, as a puppy and as an adult. Malaws are also not a breed for everyone. They're not. They have too much drive. They are, um, they need a lot of medical exercise. Um, as much as I lo like them, I would not own one myself, and I would never recommend owning a Malinois for a first-time dog owner or a first-time dog trainer, even though I'm not a trainer myself, but I'm a big nerd when it comes to dog breeds, or even dogs in general. <clears throat> I I would ne never get a Mal. If I would choose between a German Shepherd and a Belgian Malinois, a German Shepherd would it would be a better choice for me because they're more easier to train and they don't have not a lot of drive as much like they don't have much drive as a Malinois does. Um, Rottweilers and Dobermans are also the same. They don't have too much drive like the Mountain Law does, you know? But if you're experienced with dogs like crazy, and if you want to challenge yourself to train a dog 24-7, I would recommend a Belgian Mountain Law. If you don't, no. And also, a Belgian Malinois is not a couch potato dog. It's definitely not a freaking couch potato. You know, this breed needs mental and physical exercises. Please do not get one. Please, 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 please do not get a Malinois. <laughs> or else, the dog would be destructive. And will destroy your house and your furniture, everything. Please. Please, no. Please, no Belgian Malinois. 